This program is brought to you by the Genesis Communications Network, a world leader in talk radio since 1998. Visit GCNlive.com today. and streaming live all across America. This is Home Talk USA with Michael King, where we will discuss topics pertaining to your home with industry-leading experts. Michael King is a licensed general contractor with more than 30 years of experience in home improvements and the author of Contracting with the King. Join us this hour for our segment, Invent America, with your co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. Discover what's next in the home improvement industry and explore new products and innovations. Or if you have that next great big idea, learn what it takes to bring your invention to the world as Michael King and Rita Crompton talk to America's inventors and innovators. Remember, the America of tomorrow is being invented today. We invite you to visit us at HomeTalkUSA.com, one of the best resources for home improvement information around today. Your best life begins with your best home, and there's no place like Home Talk. That's HomeTalkUSA.com. And now, we proudly present Invent America from the number one home improvement radio program in the country, Home Talk USA, with your host, the Cajun contractor, Michael King, and his co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. Yeah, hey, welcome America. That's right. I want to welcome all our Home Talk USA radio listeners to the Invent America segment of Home Talk USA, along with my uh, co-host, the inventor lady herself, Miss Rita Crompton. Hey, Rita, what a great week, huh? A lot going on. Yes, there is. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> I tell you what, the episodes are piling up. I tell you, in the Ben America uh, part of our show, and uh, it's been a real great success. Um, how important it really is, Rita, before we get our guests and before we uh, talk about this hour's show, um, uh for inventors, I mean, because at the end of the day, all the technologies, like give an example, uh, last hour I had Gutter Glove on the show, uh, uh, the gutter protection company, and I made a statement. I said, hey, you know, uh, at one time somebody had to invent gutter protection, gutter gloves. So, it, you know, it takes the inventors, uh, the entrepreneurship, the envision the, uh, to actually, uh, you know, put these products together. And how important is that? I, it's you're perfect in your question because you know I've always, I've been on your show over the last 15 years several times with an inventor with a new product, and so many of our inventors are just in the early stages of being guests of Home Talk USA because they invent products for the American homeowner, um, for the businesses, and they have what our topic today is that wow moment. Um, and the next thing you know, they're actually selling product in the marketplace. So it's, it's amazing how so much of our economy is based on those independent inventors and their wow moment. You know, when I go out there to the trade shows, and I'll be honest with you, uh, I could see the uh, excitement with them. But at the end of the day, they make so much a financial investment. I'm going to be honest with you, Rita. Uh, I even said to myself a couple of times with a couple of my producers, they don't even know how they're going to get home, how they're going to pay to get home. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So they, they're like got well, everything, um, uh, you know, I, I know, I know. Good. Yeah. That's we, you know, I, I wrote the Inventor's Galaxy Guide. So in about thirty minutes, an inventor who's had a wow moment can take a quick look at all the steps that involved and the price swing of those different steps, so that they can go and they can say, okay, do I really have what it takes? And when they start looking at it, you know, to go for licensing, you know, what do they have to put into it? And to be a startup, what do they have to put into it? And for some inventors, when they really get the reality check of that, it's like, all right. Here's my budget that I have to work with. What can we do with it? Yeah. And for inventors who come to me sooner rather than later and say, here's my limitations, what can we do? Yeah. It's a lot easier than when they call me up and they say, I don't have a penny left to my name. What can yeah. we do? It's like, <laughs> well, now we've got a problem. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, because so much of our economy is based on 
you know, people making a better widget. They make a better product, and it's because they were out in the backyard and something broke, and they made it better. Yep. Um, and so our job here at Invent America is to show them the better way of getting something to market, how to conserve those precious few dollars. You know, nobody comes to me and says they've got a million dollars to throw down a hole. Uh, yeah. Well, if they do, please, everybody's on a budget. Well, any sponsors out there, please let us know. We could take some of that money yeah. off your hands. You know. <laughs> No kidding. No kidding. So, you know, and I've had, just since we started recording this, so many people across America calling me with just brilliant ideas. Well, it's a and, blueprint. And wanting help. And it's a blueprint. Yeah. And I think that's what you have developed over the years is just coming up with that little simple blueprint. Uh, you know, it takes you, you know, it's like going down the yellow brick road, going, you know, see the Wizard of Oz. You know, I'm like going to use my... Judy Garland uh, analogy here, but you, if you follow the brick road and you just stay on it and don't get off, then you ain't got to worry about that wicked witch uh, popping that spell on you, or you ain't got to worry about that uh, that shyster guy or that uh, unsavory character that's just going to take your money and uh, move on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, absolutely. I that's a great you analogy. You know, still on the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, we look at how do you eat an elephant one spoonful at a time. Yeah, well, that's and right. It might take you 25 I, years, but, yeah, you got to Exactly, eat it. exactly. You know, when, when my girls were growing up, it was, you know, we would go out and we would climb the 14ers in Colorado, and you do it one step at a time. You can't focus on the top. You'll never get there, but one step at a time, and pretty soon you're having lunch at the top. What? And so that was one of the things that we always would look at. That is, you know, there's there's not a pathway in inventing where you can hire a shyster company to do it yeah. all for you because they make their money on you. Um, what we look at is, you know, you make business decisions based on what you gathered at the last step. Yeah. Well, tell us a little bit about the show we got coming up. Well, this is a fun show because we're talking about the inventor wow moment. We always talk about, you know, that aha moment. And so, you know, I always refer to it as the wow moment. And... You know, everybody has one. They have that 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 instant of, I can do better than this. Oh, you know, what if we did it this way? And so it's a lot of fun. It's inspirational for all of the Americans out there listening to the show that say, oh, I had a wow moment last week. And, you know, so being able to share, you know, what did you do with your wow moment? How did yep. you get from there to, you know, patent pending status here? Yep. So, um so, so a lot going on. So uh, I think we got three guests. Uh, there was a little programming change, also, right? Uh, well, we do. The, the third guest, um, she had her wow moment a long time ago. Um, <laughs> she has been selling product all over North America. She did license it, and so you know, I always look to her as an expert. The funny thing, part of this, is, you know, when I, I got a divorce, the only thing my ex husband wanted to keep was the disposal genie, and so you know. <laughs> It it was a good product, and um, certainly she she had a wall moment somewhere in there where it's like there has got to be a better way to do this, and I'm going to let her tell that story. But she's kind of our wow moment expert today. Okay. Um, the uh, Mary, our first guest, she I was actually you talk about wow moments. This was a god moment. I was looking at her form um, that she had submitted through the website when she called me. Are you serious? Just. Wow. You know, just abs you know, yeah, a wow moment for sure. And um, so it was like God saying, invite her to be on the show. And I did while I was talking to her. And she goes, well, I'd love to. Uh, then the other two gentlemen um, have invented caster that for people who are for kids to use, you know, where you just can't quite get that, you know, for fishing. Casting out just right. Now this is it. this is a product to help, and so all of the products that they do invent are for helping you know people be able to get out into the the great out of doors and enjoy the outside. Well, hold on that thought right there. There's the music. It's time to pay some bills. That's right. Make sure you visit our website at HomeTalkUSA.com. Check out all our sponsors, and if you want to become a sponsor of the show uh, of the Event America Show or Home Talk USA, just go online at HomeTalkUSA.com. And if you want some more information about the Invent America segment of our show, that's also available on our website at HomeTalkUSA.com. All right, along with my co-host, the event lady herself, Rita Crompton, we're going to come back with our first guest, our first topic, right here on the Invent America show, part of the Home Talk USA radio family. I'm the Cajun Man, along with Rita. Y'all come back now, you hear? Yeah. Yay! Talk 
USA with Michael King. Do you have questions about your next home improvement project or home repairs? Now you can chat with verified home repair and home improvement experts in just minutes. Get the help you need by visiting HomeTalkUSA.com, one of the best resources for home improvement information around today. Your best life begins with your best home, and there's no place like Home Talk. That's HomeTalkUSA.com. And now, back to Invent America, from the number one home improvement radio program in the country, Home Talk USA, with your host, the Cajun contractor, Michael King, and his co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. All right, welcome back to the only home improvement show dedicated to you, the American consumer. All right, uh, don't forget we are streaming live on the World Wide Web at the Genesis Communication Radio Network at GCNlive.com. All right, Rita, who's uh, who's up to play now? Well, we've got Richard Franklin and Darren Scott um, are joining us. They invented the perfect caster, and they started a business called R&D Outdoors, and it's built on the notion that a positive connection with nature can change a person's life. And living in the forest, I would say absolutely, I agree with you 100%, because I spend more time outside now than I did in the first 50 years of my life. So, Gentlemen, I agree with you 100%. Actually grew up fishing, so I'm quite interested in hearing more about the perfect caster. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, tell hey. us about the product, gentlemen. Okay. Uh, what we've invented is uh, the world's first self-casting fishing pole. Uh, the, uh, the art of casting a pole, it, it requires uh, eye-hand coordination and timing, and, uh, and that's very difficult uh, for somebody to learn. Uh, if you ever try to teach a little kid how to fish, it can be a daunting task for them and for you. So we broke the, the, the act of casting down into uh, four different categories, and, and we eliminated the human part of it. Uh, so what we've done is we have the person press the button down, and instead of the line just falling out, our mechanism that we built locks that into place and holds the line for you. So you don't have to have your thumb on it and worry about how far you get it back and when to let it go. We have a computer in our, our uh, uh, fishing reel that uh, actuates itself to the uh, to the environment that it's in. So that when you press the button, it'll go red, green, blue, little lights will come on, and then it goes red again, and it says it's ready. So when you bring your elbow up and back behind your head, once you get to negative 45 degrees, the computer realizes that it measures that angle, and it sends another tone and a blue light in your ear that says you're back far enough. When you go forward and you hit to positive 45 degrees, the uh, uh, mechanism sets off another alarm, and an a orange light comes off, and they'll let the, the real cast in the same manner every time. So I can teach anyone to cast a pole in 30 minutes. The per, very first oh, day they want to, I can have them casting the pole by themselves. So, so uh, in other words, did, my grandsons, um, when they cast the pole, instead of it dropping out on my head, it is going to actually go into the water. Absolutely, every time. Yep. Oh, that's it a good will, thing. <laughs> It won't, yeah, they're not going to catch a tree. They're not going to hook their, their, the back of their pants or, or you know, that, that's one part of the problem is that it, it's the timing of when to let go of that thumb when you're coming through and to keep it pressed hard enough. All that has to work in, 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 a, in, a, in a very uh, exact sequence and trying to get I, a young person or a person that doesn't know how to cast a pole to, to learn that, that learning curve is, is pretty steep. So it, yeah, it can no be... Kidding. When I was a little girl, my father said girls aren't supposed to like to fish, and you can't go until you learn how to cast. So we spent time out in the backyard learning how to cast, and by golly, you know, eventually I got it, and I was fishing with my father the next Saturday. So bless his bless his heart, he 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 was persistent. So what was your wow moment? What what made you inspired you to move forward with this? Well, the, the very first wow moment I had was uh, I I was uh, fostering a little boy. Uh, about 10 years ago, and I was getting ready to go fishing, and uh, we lived in a little apartment that had a balcony, and I was casting off that balcony, and he'd come out, wanted to know what we were doing, and he said he wanted to go fishing. And so we had a little cat stick with a piece of yarn on it, and I tied a toy on it, handed it to him, and said, that's your fishing pole. Now I went back to what I was doing, and but he watched me, and when I got my attention back to him a few minutes later, he had the, 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 the action of putting the, the stick behind his head, and throwing it forward. So my wow moment was, if a two-year-old can figure that out, what's the hard part about casting? And then that's when I realized that pressing the button, holding the button, and 
knowing exactly in, when in that arc to let go. A, a, a few degrees too soon, and it goes straight up in the air. A few degrees too yeah. too late, it's around in front of you. So that got me thinking, and I, then I, it was that was the first idea I ever had that I didn't forget. I could not let this one go. I have lots of ideas in my life. I mean, that's never been a problem for me, but this one I could never forget. Yeah, I always come back because I knew it was something like that. You know, if we, I could figure that out. That's a, that's very helpful. So that was my first wow moment. Uh, was well, just realizing that I fixed the problem. That was the first one. Uh, Darren? Um, I'm not really, I was never really into fishing. Rick, if I'm an engineer, and Rick approached me with this problem, so we then worked on it over the space of a year and a half. So the wild moment, what it was on about fishing for me, is when we were preparing for a show, and we had nine or ten of these self-contained battery-powered prototypes. We turned them all on and brought them all to life, one by one by one, just sitting there. And I thought, wow, we really have something here. I, 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 I started to get there, there's some value here. Yeah. And we have yeah, a video of the very, not, we have a video of the first time that this fishing reel was ever, you know, cast. We did it in his, his kitchen. It was the first time the world did in the world that this thing is we've ever seen anything like it. So it, that well, was another wild moment. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is wonderful. Worked. And this is just the first of many that uh, ideas and inventions that you guys are working on that all are going to deal with the, the ability of someone to enjoy the great out of doors. Absolutely, yes. yes. We are trying to open up fishing to as many people as possible. That, like you, you, your little story a second ago, you said you, you were wanting to go fishing with your dad. Well, there's a lot yes. of little kids out here that don't have dad. They're being raised by grandmas uh, and aunts or their mom, and they want to go fishing, but their mom or their aunt or something, they never got to learn how to fish, or they tried to learn how to fish, and most people won't fish because of casting. That's the most difficult part, and they get frustrated, and they get they just don't want anything to deal with it because they don't have the time to learn to do it and do it correctly. So we're trying to open up with the products that we're bringing to market the ability for somebody to learn to fish quickly. They can enjoy it. They have a memory. If a little boy is being taught to fish by his aunt, that's something he'll right. remember his whole um a little a little girl gets taught to be you know, they she All her right. grandmother All right, we got hey my friend, we uh there's the music, gotta step away. Richard, Franklin, Darren, hey, uh y'all have a website, guys? Yeah, RDO dot L L C. Say it one more time. R D O dot L L C. And Rita, they can get you on your website also, right? Absolutely. We'll get their website up and uh, their description so that anybody can find them. Well, Richard Franklin, Darren Franklin, thank you so much for being a guest on the Vet America Show. We've got to step away. Hard break. We'll be right back. Yay! Yay! 